A lot of people got to work from home today or mm -hmm. take the day off because of the storm, but that wasn't an option for florists. That's right. With Valentine's Day just hours away now, many worked hard to make sure that their deliveries stay on schedule, but the storm certainly wasn't helping. News Center's Jessica Gagne checked out the challenges facing florists before the holiday. Hi, Jess. Hi, Pat and Cindy. For many Maine florists who have been in business for a while, bad weather around Valentine's Day is nothing new, but this storm is halting a lot of early deliveries that were scheduled to go out today, meaning tomorrow is going to be especially busy for those in in the flower business. Even when it looks like this outside, we don't get a snow day. <laughs> Not when customers are expecting these beautiful bundles to be on their loved ones doorsteps for Valentine's Day. But deliveries that were scheduled to arrive a day early have hit some snags. A lot of stuff is going to businesses and they're all closed. So we have to push everything out to tomorrow. Just one issue Harmons and Bartons in Portland has faced because of the recent bad weather. A shipment of wholesale flowers that was supposed to arrive Monday also had to be rescheduled. And walk-in business has been next to nothing. But the phones have been ringing off the hook as people start to dig out and start remembering that the holiday is rapidly approaching. I think that we're going to be very crazy tomorrow. Um, I mean, my father didn't even know tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so... <laughs> For this shop, it's a rush they are ready for. Storms have hit around the busy season in the past, but they always manage to get their orders out the door. I mean, it's Maine, so it's happened. <laughs> Definitely before. Um, I mean, this one is pretty bad, um, but we'll still get it done. Working overtime to deliver a sign of spring that will brighten up someone's snow-filled day. The good news is the Valentine's Day forecast is a lot brighter than today's, so it should be a much easier day to make those deliveries. Pat and Cindy. All right, Jess, thank you so much.